I love a band called The Blasters, and to me, they said it best. I'm shaking! Don't go away. Hello everyone and welcome to Fat Guy Productions. I am Paul coming to you as always from beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. And today I am presenting my build for our Three Blind Mice Bone Shaker build. Now, I'm going to be honest. I thought I might need to drop out on this one. I really had no clue what to do with this casting. But I decided to give it the old college try. And this is what happened. I already had a bone shaker body from a different project, so I thought, idea or not, I have nothing to lose by giving it a try. So I pulled out the body and some different parts and wheels, and I started to mock things up. I first thought about a monster truck, and I even made sketches and plans, but as I worked, something completely different started to drift into my noodle. I decided to cut the roof completely off, and at that point it just didn't feel monster anymore. So I opted to keep it as a modified shaker rat rod that would be a little bit more, no, I cancel that, a lot bit more to my liking. So I used my rotary tool and a jeweler saw and I cut off the roof and then with files and sandpaper I smoothed out the cut edge and I came up with something I was kind of feeling pretty good about. I did a test fit and it let me know I was on the right path and it also shouted in loud vulgar language the stupid <laughs> Skull has to go. I needed a second shaker as I broke the base on the one I started with here. So I busted open a second one and I took it apart just using my standard methods. This second car, it was liberating, as it meant I had another interior part, so I could, in fact, mess with the stupid skull and not have to worry as I had a backup part. Now, listen, I love a good skull as much as the next guy, and I don't mean to impugn anyone out there who is digging on it. I just feel the casting would be better with a regular grill. And so I'm going to try and make one from the existing skull. I cut away some of the material and I took to sanding and filing away the skull features and I tried to turn the skull into a grill. This, in fact, was an epic fail. So I ended up just cutting it completely off 
and I tried to see what I could do that might fill the bill. I tried making a grill from sanding screens and it was just too gaslands for me. I was really left scratching my head wondering where in the world I could get a grill. And then it hit me. I had to get a grill, not make one. In my stash I found this Plymouth and the grill seemed like it would be perfect. So I took apart another car and with my jeweler saw I got to cutting. I got the grill off and held it onto the body and it seems like it was going to be perfect. I also made a stupid decision here and I opted to not make a mold of it as I was feeling like I was running short of time. Stupid, stupid, stupid. I should have made a mold. I, I guess now it's gonna have to be a project for another day. So I was going to need the car together to fit the grill to the body. So for the time being, I'll put the body in the stripper and then I can go ahead and focus on fitting on the tires to the base. So I cut away the originals and then I made the passage for the axles a bit bigger to make room for the M2 axles I plan to use. Now, I found in my stash the absolute best wheels in the world for this build. I fit them onto the base and I literally was smiling from ear to ear. This was going to work out. So with the new wheels on, I did a quick test fit, and man, it was even better than if I had actually planned this all out. Everything fit like a glove. Now, this is something that feels, well, just a little bit unholy. <sighs> something happened to the goo drop photos. I don't know. They just weren't there. I know I clicked the camera to start it rolling and I don't know what happened. I, I'm freaked out a little bit that that clip is gone, but I don't have it. And you know, honestly, you're not missing much. It was a blah goo drop to begin with. You really aren't missing anything. So I don't have that to share with you. I, uh, I'm just going to have to press on without it, and I'm feeling a little bad about the whole thing. Maybe I should just stop right here. All right, this is Fat Guy Productions. I'm, I'm going home. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. I, I'll stay and I'll finish the car, but it's just not going to be the same without a goo drop video clip. Anyhow. All right, I've pulled the body out of the goo. I've run to the sink to give it a wash, and it's looking super, and it actually is inspiring me with a, an odd idea. I have decided I am not going to paint this car. I'll explain a little bit more later.
Anyhow, I can screw the car together and I can use my great gel control CA to put the grill on the front and the odd brown paint on the grill it just adds to my conviction that I won't be doing any paint job here. You see rat rods are known for being well pieced and parted together and they never really have any kind of a special paint job on them. The stripped casting it looks well rat rodish and and frankly the mismatched grill just adds to the effect. I love it but I don't want to appear to be mailing this one in so my plan is to not paint it and instead I'm gonna super detail the car. So I'm going to take the build apart again and I'm going to start out by painting the interior flat black. I'm going to be using Tamiya XF1 here. It works great for this. Just leave the chrome on because I want to leave the engine chrome. Now I could have you know, hung it into some super clean and removed parts I wanted de chrome but I just didn't see a need for that. Anyhow, I'm going to leave the chrome on the motor but the rest is now going to be flat black. using micro drill bits chucked up into my rotary tool I'm gonna to drill out both the velocity stacks and the exhaust pipes to add life and realism to the engine and then I'll do more detail painting the exhaust will be flat white and I'll paint some gauges on the dash you know I've said it before you know, whatever it is that motivates you to watch my channel, be it models or diecast or Funtime Favorites, you should watch all my videos because there's lots of information tucked in that has crossover appeal. And here is a piece that exemplifies that exactly. I'm applying a modeling trick where I'm sanding the tread of the tires to add some realistic wear and tear on them, and it's making the car look just so much better. So I have tons of detail on this casting. I've got some amazing wheels and hey, the skull is gone. I can now put this car back together for the last time with a giant smile on my face. And now I can finally get a good look at what I've done here. I sure hope that you love this car.
Well, there it is, my shaker rat rod. Notice I said shaker, not bone shaker. I couldn't be happier with how this came out, and I hope you all love it too. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, click subscribe, and be sure to click the notification bell so you never miss out on one of my custom diecast builds. As always, if you have any questions or comments, or just want to say hello, please leave it all down below. I love to hear from you guys. Well, that's going to do it for today. Remember, if you don't like the path you're on, start paving a new one. This is Paul from Fat Guy Productions saying, be good.